You've probably all seen this kind of big oven on the internet. The green beans are thrown into the drum of this roasting machine. The thermal shock, known as the famous Maillard reaction, which the green beans are subjected to, is the heart of the roasting process, which takes place between 160 and 220 degrees. The temperature is then gradually reduced to 80, 90 degrees. Various stages follow, such as drying, the famous crack, etc. We will do a more detailed video on the whole process, but today we would like to present this video as a guide to flavor selection in relation to the degree of roasting. The roasting degree. How to choose your coffee. The roasting temperature plays a crucial role in the flavor of our daily coffee. When you start to look into coffee, it's easy to get confused between the different types of coffee available and their roasting methods or degrees. If you were looking for information on this subject, you have clicked on the right video. In short, here you will find the different types and levels of roasting to help you select your ideal coffee. In general, very light to medium tones are reserved for filter methods, Hario V60, Chemex, etc. And medium to very strong tones for espresso. That said, there is nothing to stop you drinking an espresso with a lighter roast coffee or a Chemex combined with a dark roast, for example. There are no hard and fast rules and everyone is free to experiment with what they personally like. A very light roast will produce coffees with little or no bitterness, very acidic, with a fruity and floral aroma. Many specialty coffees are roasted in a very clear way for the so-called milled extraction methods. As mentioned earlier, Chemex, V60 or French press to name a few. Like for example the micro batches roasted by Gearbox specialty coffee which do an exceptional job at this level. We currently offer two of them, the Uganda Sironko and a Nicaragua Regalo de Dios. Here they are. A balanced cup is produced by a medium to high roast coffee. Sweetness and body are present, but the acidity begins to decrease. Typically, these roasts combine fruity notes with notes of jam or chocolate. It is the perfect choice for cappuccino lovers. In the blends, our Columbia from Mocha Rico or the Kimbo Prestige, for example, are medium roasts. This roast loses a lot of acidity, leaving little fruitiness in your cup of coffee. It also adds body and a concentrated coffee aroma. In addition, the so-called baked aromas start to show up. Toast, caramel, chocolate, tobacco, like our Carraro Primo Mattino or the excellent Mocarico Rosa, from one of the most beautiful roasteries in Florence. We will of course put the links to all the coffees presented today just below our YouTube video with a direct link to our webshop. The roast-like flavors are found in darker roasted coffees. When I say roast-like, I mean more intense, heavy notes like woody, spicy notes, etc. In other words, there is a lot of bitterness and minimal acidity. The aim is to find intensity, body and texture. This is why Italian-style blends, Arabica mixed together with Robusta, frequently use this level of roast. There are often very pronounced notes of cereal or tobacco, like our Lolo Cafe Nero for example, or the spicier touch in one of our best seller, the Lolo Cafe Classico. Lolo Cafe, for those who don't know, is an authentic roastery from Naples, with whom we are proud to work and who create blends according to the Neapolitan tradition. The Classico, as the name suggests, is really the typical bar coffee as found in Naples, with lots of body in the cup, a nice touch of intensity, and anyone looking to prepare an Italian espresso or cappuccino will appreciate it. This blend is especially popular by those who like Southern Italian coffee. It is crucial to understand that roasting alone is not everything and therefore some types of coffee beans will require a different type of roasting than others in order to export their full potential. The terroir, variety and dominant flavor of the coffee all contribute to a different end product when cooked in a similar way. Each of us has our own perception of pleasure, of what makes our palate tick. Don't let someone else's opinion influence your choice. Our tastes and preferences are our own and unique. The choice, in the end, is simple. It all depends on you and your palate. Do you prefer shorter but intense coffees with character? Or do you prefer progressive, longer coffees, etc. However, each level of roasting has its own range of flavors. This is where we see the mastery and know-how of each roaster, which makes them unique. Coffee loses more acidity as it roasts while gaining body and bitterness. Roasting aromas start to appear, more caramelized notes, roasted dried fruits, tobacco, toast, 
The lighter the roast, the more subtle and acidic the coffee will come out. The notes are mainly fruity and floral. The terroir is highlighted here. For example, specialty coffee is roasted more lightly so that it expresses itself fully in the mouth. Roasting is like an art. Each roaster has its own style and its own touch. His job is to perfect the product by selecting the ideal roasting time and the specific parameters of the selected coffee origins. It's simple, you just have to pay attention to your desires, your research and the flavor profiles you're looking for to get the best roast color for your taste buds. You are free to test all types of roasts with different extractions to understand the differences and decide what you like best. As I said earlier, there are no real fixed rules. It's up to you to explore, to find out what you like and what you don't like so much, and then come up with a final result. That's it for today, and we hope you enjoyed the kind of videos we post on YouTube. If you do so, please feel free to support the channel by giving us a blue thumbs up and subscribing. We also have decided to leave a small discount code below the video to thank you for watching but also to give you a small discount on the webshop. See you soon!